Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part one of a multi-part series on start to finish of me creating one of my pieces of artwork. It's going to be, same as always, a photorealistic, hyperrealistic piece of art. I don't know how many parts this series is going to be, um, since I'm only this far into the actual series in real life. So we'll see how it goes. But here on part one, it's all the cleanup and the setup for cleanup from the last drawing and setup for the next drawing. I thought it would be good to make a series like this so people, you guys can really see what I do start from the very start to the very end. And I'm going to be doing some, um, some real time video as well. So not all of it will be time lapse. And uh, I'll do some shorter tutorials in here as well and kind of my process of how I'm um, going about certain details and, and uh, what made me decide on my subject matter and how basically just how I'm going to do it from start to finish. I do feel like real time video just like some of my older tutorials are pretty helpful and people find them pretty valuable. So. That's why I'm, I'm also doing this and uh, you guys can just kind of see my creative process from the very start to the very end. Um, also, you guys will be able to ask me um, questions and I'm going to be uploading them, um, uploading these parts pretty, pretty frequently and it's not going to, it's going to be throughout the process. So it's, it's not going to be I finish the entire piece and then I just post all of them. So as I go along, you can ask me different questions and I can answer them about where I am currently in, in the drawing. So I think that that's helpful and, and cool as well. Um, I'm hoping to have the whole thing done uh, within a month. So it, it might be, you know, four or five parts overall, but we'll see. So what am I doing right now? Um, I actually made these floor extensions and uh, put my drafting table on casting wheels just so that I could move it a little bit easier. And uh, as you can see, it's you can roll it out with just one hand. So that was a really good upgrade that I did. And you can see my mess behind uh, my drafting table and everything fell over. So that's always great. Um, but I taped it up as you can see there. Having a drafting table is very helpful. I had a small little drawing table and uh, I outgrew that pretty quickly. And then even this one, when I would do my vertical pieces, um, it wasn't tall enough. So I made a little extension. It's pretty, pretty janky, but I mean, it gets it done and it works well. So I can't really complain about that just looks a little bit uh, unprofessional maybe, but who cares? So here I'm just marking out the dimensions for my drawing. Um, I'm doing a, it's 28 inches by 22 inches. Um, and I'm doing a half inch border around. So it's 29 inches by 23 inches total. Um, this is some pretty thick paper. It's actually um, cotton 100% cotton mat board for so basically the the mats used in picture frames um, I like the thickness and uh, it's acid free I usually use this when I do my indenting techniques um, but I'm not doing that for this drawing but I had extra paper so um, I decided to use it for this anyway so I got it all cut out. It's a total pain to cut this paper though, because it's super dense and thick. It's like trying to cut cardboard with a pair of scissors. It's a total pain. Um, and then uh, here I just put, I'm putting the tape on the back of the paper just to hold it down on the drafting table. Um, because especially this paper, if it has a little bit of a curve to it, it likes to keep the curve. And it takes a lot of a lot of tape to really hold it down nice and flat. I already did the grid on it, as you can see earlier. So it's all gridded and uh, just have to tape it, stick it down now.
And now I'm just taping down the edges so that uh, when I finish I can peel the tape off and it's a nice clean border and uh, it'll be easier to get it scanned and make prints off of these. So that's about it. Um, if you guys wanna, if anybody wants to stick around and and watch the rest of the series, that would be great. But if it's not for you, no hard feelings. Um, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, see you in the next part. Thanks.